Hey y'all, what's up? This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with the C. Back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel though, um, just want to let you know that I do film videos on a plethora of different things. All of them are things that I'm interested in, but um, basically I do reaction videos. Um, and right now I'm reacting to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Also, I have reaction videos to Stranger Things season two as well as um, I just recently finished up The Gifted season one and um, I'll be doing a few other um, television shows, but I also have um, reviews for um, movies as well as um, reviews. Um, I have a review for season one of Stranger Things. Forgot to mention that as well, but I do movie reviews. I also do reviews on um, luxury items, um, recommendations for luxury items. I recently did my first tag video and that's forever items in my collection. So um, if you're interested in luxury items or you um, are interested in getting into luxury items, you know, please check out that video. It may be informational. Um, also, um, I do haul videos and I don't know if I mentioned travel vlogs, but I also do that as well. So again, just a plethora of things that I'm interested in. So, um, if any of those things, um, interest you or you're interested in learning more about any of those things, please guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and how do you subscribe? All you have to do is hit the red button below that says subscribe and also hit the bell next to it. You'll see a bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit the bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. So today guys, I'm actually going to be filming a reaction video to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season five, episode 12. I don't know what the episode is called. Um, but again, it's going to be in the title of this video, so I will find out. You notice I'm not wearing my onesie. I'm not wearing my onesie because I'm having to go out later on, but I just filmed episode 10 and 11, and I had to like get changed, what have you, because I'm going to have to go out a little bit later, and so I want to go ahead and get dressed. So, um, yeah, my onesie is not present, but it's present with us in spirit, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, but guys, um, episode 11 was a shocker. I'm not going to get too far into it again. I'm trying to film this before I have to go out and get some things done. So, um, but the biggest thing, Elena lost her arms, like Elena, Elena lost her arms. I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Elena lost her arms. Deke did not die. He came back from the future, um, with the team. Well, he wasn't with the team. But, you know, he came back from the future um, and um, there was a lot of things that happened. But Elena lost her arms, y'all. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was just in shock. I was in shock. Elena lost her arms. And, like, you see that the future is already happening in the past. So they couldn't even enjoy this cheeseburger. Like, they wanted to enjoy it and Elena done lost her arms. <laughs> so I just don't, I'm just, like, in shock. Um, and the person who, um, you know, essentially hurt Elena, um, and caused her to lose her arms is none other than this general lady, um, who replaced Talbot is her daughter who apparently is trained, um, and is out there maiming folks. So, um, and then you see at the end of the episode that Creel, who we all know from, you know, seasons, I, I believe really he's from season one. So he go way back, but Creel is still out there. And the general, um, the lady who replaced Talbot, she's trying to get him to join a team. Um, I reckon to track down the agents of shield and to, you know, capture them. Um, it looks like we were introduced to Noah, who was a chronicom like Enoch was. And it looks like Noah bit the bullet. Like he was trying to protect, um, Daisy and Fitz from the little orb that was sending out, out a message to the Cree. So, um, I don't know y'all this it's just a whole bunch going on but um i saw a few pictures from this episode episode 12 so i assume i don't know for certain but i assume from the pictures i saw actually it wasn't even pictures like i was scrolling through youtube as i do at times and you know i was seeing people have reactions to episode 12 of agents of shield and a picture that i you know like you know how people will screenshot or whatever like i do that as well i'll screenshot like a particular section of my um reaction and i'll use that as my youtube thumbnail for the video so i kept seeing this particular picture on people's thumbnails and it looked like it was a picture of fitz um and simmons 
And then I think Colson was also there as well. It looks like I I'm predicting that Fitz and Sim is going to get married this episode. So they're going to say, listen, life's too short. You know, people get maimed and losing their arms. We want to go ahead and get married. So that's what I'm predicting for this episode from the pictures that I saw because it looked like they were kind of together, like they were giving each other vows. And I think this is the hundredth episode of Shield as well. So I'm gonna predict that Fitz and Simmons get married and Simmons dies because this is how Shield doing right now. <laughs> this is how Shield is doing right now, and I this is what I feel like is is the real real. I feel like this is the real real, and this is the truth. Like, cause can't nobody on this team be happy, you know? So. <laughs> This is what I'm predicting. I'm predicting they get married and some kind of way Simmons dies or gets captured or something. Some bad gonna happen to Fitz and Simmons right after they give their vows. So that's what I'm predicting. But guys, again, without further ado, I'm gonna have to go a little bit later on. I'm trying to get this video up and, you know, it's not cooperating with me. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my reaction, guys, so I can go ahead and go out and do what I need to do and come back. So again, without further ado, this is Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, season 5, episode 12, the 100th episode of S.H.I.E.L.D. What an accomplishment. But I will see you guys on the other side for my observations, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. What? Wait, what's going on? Oh, they're doing all the intros, the title cards. This is the 7th episode. Yeah, Supernatural does like the same. That's kind of cool. I really like that. That thing right there is another dimension bleeding back into our world. Stacy might not be the one responsible for tearing the earth apart. Bad news is, the end of the world might have already begun. But we have to stay and fight. The things I heard in the future, they're all coming true. Faster than imagined. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be a jerk. Really? Well, I mean... Sometimes I do because I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's Not funny. Not just then. I thought we were having a moment. Just to be clear, you and I have never had a moment. That was just you telling me a story about your very nice mom and an orange. <laughs> Dick! Oh! Whoa! What the heck? I have a potential fix, but I don't know how to do it. Without one of us possibly sacrificing ourselves. Uh, well, that yeah, that's not really a fix. Okay, <laughs> deep. Oh no, me? No, 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 no. I just got here. I just got to a world that's got ice cream I just and, got here. and orange scented stuff. So no, 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 no. And in case any of you forgot, I already did the heroic sacrifice thing to get you all here. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. done. <laughs> I'm not asking you to sacrifice yourself. I just want to borrow your belt. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but there's only one candidate. Piper, she said a thousand times she'll do anything for her forgiveness. Piper, cool it. We keep her in holding for now. Shield. There is no shield. Colson, there's no shield. Look okay, around. No, 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 no. May is never going to be full strength whether you'll admit it or not. Mac is seconds away from quitting again because the love of his life, our only other strong fighter, was literally cut to pieces. Nobody quits. Piper stabbed us in the freaking backs. And Fitzsimmons, my God, you really want to risk their lives again? They've been through enough. And guess what, Colson? That's it. That's everybody. No, that's not it. There's an idea, a symbol that must continue no matter what, a shield. And I, I need you to. Oh no. I need you to. The MRI shows necrotic tissue branching out from the scarred areas surrounding Coulson's life threatening, life ending injury to his heart and left lung. It's tissue that appears to have been dead for several years. What can we do? Can we cure this? The tissue is already dead. There is no cure for that. What are you... He's dying. Yeah. You've known since Ghost Rider, haven't you? I didn't know how to tell you. And I didn't think I should. That's the deal you made. Whatever alien voodoo was holding me together, Ghost Rider burned through it. Oh. That was the price. How could you keep this from us? 
I'm sorry. I didn't want you trying to find a solution when we had we problems. Had a Tess was brought back from the dead. We had a solution right there. I didn't want to go through all that again. You did this wrong, Phil. You put too much on her today. You should have told us. Wow. You found me alone in an alley. And you, you gave me everything, a home, uh, a belief, solid ground to stand on, but that was all you. You were what I believed in. You believe in yourself, and you should. No, if you want a symbol, you are the symbol. There's no shield without you. <laughs> There's nothing without you. <laughs> There's... <laughs> Come here. We can't just let him die. How do you not have a better plan? I'm much better than two. That's simple mathematics, Dave. There are no acceptable losses. This isn't Hydra, Leopold. Oh, right, don't you make it. Baby. The vacation on a white beach with blue water to travel to the stars. To own your own plane, a car that flies, your own team, to have a family, the brilliant students you never got a chance to mentor, the daughter you never had, and above all, a chance to be a hero. Huh? 
It's a nice one. Turns out a lot of people pawn wedding rings. I had to find one that was going to be small enough for his little boy fingers. And then for hers, I found this ring that looks just like this one that my mom used to wear sometimes. It was my grandma's, I think. Grandma's. You got something? I don't know. Thinking Deke Shaw could possibly be an LMD. Ran a genetic profile to see if he was biologically linked to anyone. And it came up with a match? No. It came up yeah. with two. In the lineage of fits and sins. See, somebody said that before I knew it. What is that? Now by the power vested in me by, well, by the two of you, I'm so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. I kiss the bride. So they did build it. <laughs> Good on y'all, man. Good on y'all. So what about you? Bride or bro? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't really know either one of them. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, that was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 12. My reaction, um, that was crazy, like, how there's a lot of emotional moments in this episode, and, like, um, apparently the whole thing with Phil and him dying happened before, like, um, I guess it wasn't quite clear on that, like, as far as the deal that he made with Ghost Rider, um, I guess that, um, like, everything that the Kree had done to him would be removed, I guess, to restore the balance of life. And because I guess like what the Kree did to him, not necessarily what the Kree did, but the Kree technology that S.H.I.E.L.D. had used to revive Phil and bring him back, there was like a mystical element to that, which of course Ghost Rider ain't really here for the mystical elements, um, you know, as far as people are concerned. And that's why like Ghost Rider was able to impact Ada and destroy her when she became essentially like human. Um, and so, um, Ghost, I guess Ghost Rider undid the mystical element that is holding Phil together. Um, and in turn, I guess, like, you know, Ghost Rider came and, you know, was able to kill Ada through Phil's body. So I guess that was the deal that they made, but I think it, it probably goes a bit further than that. But I don't know. I guess we'll see in the future episodes. So um, you had that happen. Um, and so the team found out essentially that Phil is dying. And of course, being the team, they're like, yeah, you know, we'll find a way to reverse it or we'll find a way to make sure that it doesn't happen. And Phil is kind of fit, like telling them that I've made peace and, you know, I'm, I'm OK with dying. And this is why he keeps trying to encourage Daisy to step up and be team lead, because he knows that there needs to be a succession plan in place for S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and so... You know, there was that whole emotional moment, you know, with Daisy reconciling that, you know, the knowledge that Phil is going to die or he is dying and his heart is just going to stop at some point. Um, then you had, um, you know, all of these things, all these fear based things that are manifesting through this dimension. And so Phil goes down and tries to, um, well, you know, to activate the little gravitonium, little orb that Fitz made to hold the rift together so that other stuff doesn't keep coming through. Which was interesting, all the stuff that was coming through and the things that were Phil, like, like Coulson, like his fears and then the fears of other people. So that was really interesting. Um, as predicted, Gemma and Fitz, you know, did get married this episode, which was really cool. And then they're tracing back Deke Shaw's DNA to try to figure out who he is. And like, I knew it like, well, I feel like somebody said this in the, like one of the past episodes. Um, yeah, like somebody did say it in one of the past episodes, probably around like seven or eight that they thought that Deke may be like, and I kind of thought that as well. I'm like, I wonder if like Deke's parents are Fitz and Simmons. Like, um, yeah, I was wondering if Fitz and Simmons were like, yeah, his parents. Um, I didn't think grandparents. I was thinking like, because I think this is only like a 90 year period between, um, the past and the future. 
So I was thinking like more so that they were his parents, not necessarily grandparents. But I guess that's kind of the relation that they're drawing is that that um, Deke is um, Gemma and, um, you know, Fitz's grandson. So that's kind of that's cool that they did essentially that they did, in fact, have a family. So that's really cool to know. Um, what else happened this episode? Um, unfortunately, Elena couldn't be at the wedding because she's still recovering from her arms being chopped off. So um, there was that. Then you got to see that there, you know, are other shield agents out there who I guess are under the radar hiding out. So that was cool to see as well. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else. It wasn't anything really shocking in this episode, like like last episode was for me. Because I again, I kind of seen the pictures and I figured like Fitz and Simmons were gonna go ahead and get married this episode after seeing kind of like those little snippets. So I guess we'll see what happens episode 13, like what, where they go from here. I don't know um, if a new episode is going to be coming out this Friday or if it's on hiatus maybe for a bit. So we'll see. But um, anyway, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have to go. Glad I was able to go ahead and catch up on the episode still. So I'm going to be editing and putting these out very shortly. So be on the lookout for that. As well as, um, you know, other videos I'm going to be putting out as well. So, again, guys, I really appreciate you watching. This was an awesome episode, per usual, for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, I will see you guys for the next reaction. But, before I, you know, let you guys go, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you comment below. Let me know if you had already predicted that Deke was somehow related to Fitz and Simmons. Um... Yeah, let me know if you had predicted that or if that was, like, shocking to you or, you know, how you felt about that. Um, also, make sure you guys um, to subscribe to my channel. Um, all you have to do is hit the red button below and you are subscribed to my channel. And then if you hit the bell next to the red button, you'll be notified when I upload my next reaction as well as my next video in general. Um, so I do post one video a week. But, again, I'm going to see if maybe I can post more. Sometimes I do post more, but I try to do at least one video a week, guys. So, um, anyway, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure, you, again, you hit that red bell. So, uh, or not the red bell, but the bell button next to the red button so you're notified when I do upload my videos. So, again, guys, I'm going to be heading out, but I will see you in the next video. And I appreciate you guys so very much for watching and enjoying these episodes with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.